Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making part three of The Secret Stitches Cal Crochet Along 2021. This is the Candy Cradle Square. If you are not familiar with what we are up to, we're doing a crochet along. So a new stitch every four weeks of 2021, resulting in 12 of these rectangular squares that we will be joining together at the end of the year to form a gorgeous blanket. So what you'll need is some yarn. You can do it just with stash busting, whatever you have going on. I'm using a four weight, a worsted weight yarn, and you wanna use the same type of yarn for each of your blocks, each of your squares. It does not have to be the same color, but you do want it to be the same thickness and ideally also the same fiber. And I'm also using a six millimeter crochet hook for all of my blocks. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for sewing in your ends later on. So let's get started. To make the candy cane block, start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down and put it onto your hook. And now chain 36. One, two, three. There is my 36, so that is a multiple of three. And go ahead and chain two. One, two. Now we're gonna work into our back bumps for this pattern, so that means kind of pinching the flat side of your chain between your finger and your thumb and just kind of rolling it towards yourself. And to count your back loops, the first one is right underneath your yarn, right here. And then there's your second, third, fourth, fifth. There are these bumps going up along the back. So if you roll your chain to its side, the first one is underneath your yarn, you can't really see it. But the second one is basically the first one that you actually do see right here. So we're gonna go right into that very first chain and make one single crochet. Just poke it onto your hook, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Skip two bumps and go into the third. So to skip your bumps, there's one, two, here is our third. We wanna work into our third bump or our third back loop and make one single crochet. So just slide that onto your hook and one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two, so we're skipping one and two, going into the third, one single crochet. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way along our chain. So chain three, one, two, three. Skip two, one, two. Gonna go into the third, Slide that onto your hook, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two, one single crochet into the third. So keep going along your row, making a chain three, one, two, three. Skipping two and working into the third with one single crochet. So keep working your way along your chain and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of your row, the very last camel bump will be where we are doing our last single crochet. So right into that last chain, one single crochet. And that finishes our first row. To start the candy row, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work into the very first stitch right down here. We're gonna make our next stitch. So wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into that first stitch. And one single crochet into the space. Into the next stitch, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the space, one single crochet. So there's our little candy. Wrap your yarn into the next stitch, three double crochets. 
one, two, and three. Into the space, one single crochet. Into the stitch, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the space, one single crochet. So now keep working along your row, doing three double crochets into each stitch and a single crochet into each space all the way along until you reach the end. At the end of your row, I've done my three double crochets into my stitch. So single crochet into the last space and two double crochets into the last stitch, which is this slopey bit over here. So if you poke your hook in, you will get two strands of that stitch onto your hook. So it's not into the chain, it's this kind of fatter slope. Put your hook in and get, make sure you get two loops of that stitch onto your hook. So wrap your yarn and two double crochets into that last stitch. One and two. And that finishes our candy row. To start row three, chain one and turn your work. Working right into your very first stitch right here, we're gonna make one single crochet and chain three. One, two, three. So this row we're making our cradles. And now we're gonna go in to the top of each of these candies. So into the second double crochet of each of these candies all the way along. That's where we're gonna be doing our single crochets right into the center stitch of those candies. So poke your hook in and make one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And into the center of the next candy, the second double crochet, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the center of the next candy, two strands of that stitch on your hook, one single crochet. So we're gonna keep going all the way along this row. And if your work is being all weird and twisting up, don't worry about it. It will straighten out as it gets larger. So keep going, doing a chain three and a single crochet into the top stitch of each of those candies all the way along your row until you reach the end. At the end of your row, we wanna work into the top of that chain three two strands of that chain on your hook and make one single crochet. And that finishes the cradle row. So to do the candy row, start with a chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work into the first stitch. Just that first stitch right there one double crochet. Single crochet into the space. And three double crochets into the stitch. One, two, and three. Single crochet into the space. And three double crochets into the stitch. One, two, and three. Single crochet into the space. So now you'll keep going like this, doing three double crochets into each stitch and a single crochet into each space all the way along until you reach the end of your row. At the end of your row, one single crochet into that last space and into the last stitch Right here, that little guy on the hill, we want to do two double crochets. So one double crochet and two. So that finishes our candy row. Now you're going to alternate making a cradle row and a candy row until you have completed 15 candy rows. To count your candy rows, just count each shell, each row of shells going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So pause the video and complete your 15 candy rows. When you've completed your 15 candy rows, we're gonna end on a cradle row. So chain one and turn your work. And do a cradle row all the way back. So one single crochet into that first stitch. Chain three. One single crochet into the center stitch of each candy. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the next candy. Chain three. Single crochet into the center stitch of the next candy. And keep going like this all the way along until you reach the end of your row. At the end of your row, make your last single crochet into the top of your chain three. Chain one. Cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any quick stitch tutorials just like this. Have a super great day and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked.